Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can add images and buttons in a table. The default Gutenberg table does not have any option to add images and buttons in a table. So I'm going to use a plugin which will help you create any kind of table in a WordPress website. The name of the plugin is Tableberg. This plugin has free as well as premium version. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create tables in WordPress using the Tableberg plugin. I have shown you all the features of this plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now in this video, we are going to create a table in which we are going to add images and buttons. In previous video, I have shown you how you can create tables like this. This is a pricing table. Then this is a comparison table with a search option. Then this is another pre-designed template which you can use to create a tables. So this plugin has pre-designed templates to create tables that you can use. In this video, we are going to create a table like this. So let's go to the sample page here. And on this page, I'm going to create a table. Let's delete this table and we are going to start from the scratch. Now I'm going to add a table here. You can click on plus sign here and search for a table. And you will see the option table bird. I have already installed the free as well as premium version of the table bug plugin. So I'm going to use this block. Let's close this one. And here you will see pre-designed templates for the table. If you want, you can use the pre-designed template. I'm going to start from the scratch. We are going to create a four by four table like this. I'm going to create the table manually. And here I have selected four by four. Click create. And this is the four by four. So at the top, we are going to add the title. Here I'm going to add image, then we have details, and then we have order. Okay, so we are going to mark this one as header. So select the table, and in the right hand side, you will see the settings of the table. Make the top bar header, so this is going to be the header. And if I go to style settings, I can change the background color of the header. Let's use this one. So this is going to be the background color for the header. I'm going to change the text color to white all right so we have got the header now here we are going to add the name of the product first one is seafood then we have snacks and then we have burger all right so we have three different items here and now in this column i'm going to add image for this particular dish so click on the plus sign and you will see the option to search search for image this is the table bug block to add inside the cell. So click on image and you will see an option to upload the image or select from the media library. I have already uploaded the image. So I'm going to select one image from the media library or you can upload it from your computer. So this is the image. I have selected the image and you will see that image is inside this cell. Now let's align this to the center. And here I'm going to add the details of this dish. So let's add the details for the dish. So these are the details. And here I want to add a button. So again, I'm going to click on the plus sign and search for button. And the button will be added. So let's add text here for the button. Order now. Go to the style settings of the button. Background color, change the background color to this one. And the hover background color to let's say black. Then text color will be white how our text color will be white. So this is how the button will look. You can customize it again. You can change the padding for the button. And let's center align it. All right, so button is at the center. So this is the button. Now we can add the link to the button. Let's say I want to add link. All right, this is an example. So if someone clicks on it, it will go to google.com. And you can add the link to your product page from where they can order the product. Here we are going to add another image. So again, search for image and upload the image or select the image, center align it. Let's add some details. And let's again add a button. In this case, I'm going to copy this button and paste it here. So we have got the same button again. You can change the link for this button. Okay, now in the third column, search for image. Add the image and center align it. Let's add the details again and copy the button. 
paste it here again you can change the link for this product okay, so you can see that we have got four by four table with the image and button let's customize it let's change the size of this text let's make it bold and let's center align it if i go to plus sign you will see these options are available to add in the table bar table so you can also add star rating style list then we have icon you can also add icon in the table a ribbon you can add the ribbon and you can add button and images let's add the ribbon here let's make it popular so you will see this is the ribbon for, for this particular cell where you want to right or left top or bottom then we can also customize it change the background color and text color let's add some padding here and this is how the ribbon will look so apart from all these blocks you can also add custom html inside the column so you can add your custom html code here and it will show that inside the table now let's customize the table itself if i select the table you will see the settings in the right hand side let's go to the style settings for the even row i'm going to change the background color and for the odd row i'm going to change the background color this is the footer background color we do not have any footer here from here you can change the cell padding cell spacing you can also change the border this is feature for the pro version you will see that border column only border row only hide cell outside borders this is the table border let's save it and let's refresh this page this is going to delete and we will get another table here so this is the new table that we have added if i click on it it will go to the particular link that we have added for this button so it is very easy to add images and buttons in a table using the table bug plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos